it's nice to be here for our activity. I hope you have fun today as we learn, explore, and play. Today I want to show you how to build a Lego car and we will read If I Built a Car by Chris Van Dusen. If I Built a Car by Chris Van Dusen. Jack, from the back seat, said to his dad, This car is okay. This car is not bad. But it's just a car. Nothing great, nothing grand. It's nothing at all like the car I have planned. I'll work through the night. I'll create a design. Constantly analyze, tweak, and refine. I'll study jet rockets and look at old planes. Contemplate buses and zeppelins and trains. To make it as smooth and as sleek as an eel, I'll borrow ideas from the Wienermobile. So sit back, relax, stay right where you are. It's time to reveal my spectacular car. You'll see that I've added a lot of neat things. Flush fender skirts and retractable wings. Three headlights up front, four tail lights in back, plus two giant fins like our old Cadillac. My brand new design, will be curvy and round with special jet engines that don't make a sound. I'll paint it bright colors with accents of chrome and top it all off with a plexiglass dome. I'll build a safe car, just as safe as I can, cause safety is job number one in my plan. It may look like steel from afar you can't tell, but it's actually made of a polymer gel, a space age concoction that I just invented. So in a collision, my car won't get dented. It simply absorbs what we happen to hit and folks would be fine in the seats where they sit. Come with me now and I'll show you inside. I've put in a couch. It's comfy and wide, plus a fireplace, fish tank, and here's something cool. The floor can slide open, and look, there's a pool. Now, step right this way to the back of the car and note the red button marked Instant Snack Bar. Say you were hungry and wanted a treat, just press it and instantly good things to eat appear in a flash. Anything that you please from hazelnut pudding to aerosol cheese. After you've eaten, you might like a nap and Robert and the robot makes napping a snap. I've built him right into the back of the chair. He's out of the way. You won't know that he's there. But when you get sleepy and rise from your seat, the chair spins around without missing a beat. Robert the robot will take the controls and he's guaranteed not to hit telephone poles. I see you're impressed with all that's inside. So start up the motor, let's go for a ride. A car that smells good? Now that's something new. But if I built a car, that's just what I'd do. Inside the engine, I'll add a machine to capture the odor of burnt gasoline and change it to something more pleasing to noses, like blueberry muffins or freshly picked roses. Now that we're cruising, let's head to the lake. There's no need to panic or slam on the brake. My car can do something very few can. The fenders will float like a catamaran. We're skimming the waves and we're having a ball, but wait, Hold your horses, cause that isn't all. Boating is fine till we get the urge to dive underwater. Then just hit submerge. Robert will drive as we burble about. We can see catfish and we can see trout. We might even spy the shy stickleback gar from inside our fabulous waterproof car. Last but not least, the best feature of all comes down to a button that's shiny and small. Push it, and then with a wink of an eye, the car will take off. We'll be up in the sky. 
We'll fly over land, we'll fly over seas to Alaska, Nebraska, Bermuda, Belize. Or take a vacation when things start to freeze and fly us all down to the Florida Keys. My car will be cool, my car will be keen, my car will be one big fantastic machine. The toast of the town, the cream of the crop, the bell of the ball and the tip of the top. My car will be famous from here to Peru. If I built a car, that's just what I'd do. The end. This is how we built our Lego car. First, you take one of these edge pieces and attach it on to a longer piece. Show what that edge piece looks like on the bottom. Oh, okay, thank you. So it's like a little corner piece. Yeah. Okay. So we attach it like that, and then you put it on like that so you see how those are flat. Then you take a tour piece, put it right there, and you start building down on the car. Next, you take a wheel piece and you attach it to the edge right there. Then you take another and attach it onto the front like this. You flip it back over and then you take five of these pieces and squares. then the squares and build them all up and then attach it like that. And then you take a piece like this and then attach two of these smaller pieces to it. You attach that to the top so it has a room for the balloon. Next, you take a piece like this and you place it on top. And if you'd like, you can have a little Lego minifigure that you can stick on the top so it can ride. Now, can you show how you blow it up and set it off? Okay, Just real quick. This is how you blow it. So do you have to blow the balloon with it in there? Yes. You, you don't, because I've done it both ways. Oh. You can blow up the balloon, twist it, and then stick the piece on. That's easier. Okay. You can do it either way, though. And then you let go, and your Lego car should move. Okay. Okay. Okay.